What is going on guys? It is your boy TKD123 here back in your place and stories. This is of course Save Slot Podcast episode 17, the weekly news show about any and all things PS5, PlayStation games, and PlayStation itself. With me of course, my luxurious co-host, the Iraq man. How are you doing good sir? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm uh, doing good. You, you, you had some words for me, you know, while we were just doing a little chat before recording, but... Now we're in front of a live audience, not a live audience, but we're in front of an audience. We have an audience. You know, that is in the future that has yet to listen. Um, so, you know, I was telling you, hey, man, I woke up at 8 o'clock, you know, I ate some breakfast, lit an incense, you know what I'm saying? Reflected like uh, Jin in Ghost of Tsushima, you know, Fun about life. pain, misery, heartbreak, life, absolutely. Uh, then I departed uh, to go get a haircut. And then I told you also I wanted to go clothes shopping. And got that done, you know, and then came back to the crib right at right at eleven to record. Um, but I'm sorry, you you wanted to have slander towards towards me about shopping at ten a.m. Yeah, absolutely. You, Who goes shopping at ten a.m. like clothes shopping? Sir, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, I like to live my life booked and busy. All right, <laughs> dude. <laughs> like, but like at ten a.m., I'd be booked and busy. Like, like, is it weird to go grocery shopping at like ten thirty at night? Is that weird? Uh, no, that's fine. Oh, but clothes shopping, I gotta. Ten thirty at strict... night, you said. Grocery shopping is like a daytime routine. Like I it's... grocery shop at night. I also, <laughs> I also grocery shop at night. <laughs> yeah, but like I like it. There's clothes shopping is like an afternoon ordeal. Well. I'm booked and busy. Do you know like, I'm so I, I I don't know. I gotta make time. Or maybe maybe I just, it's just, I just gotta me. make time. Maybe yeah. it's just me, but like, it, it it feels like daytime drinking. I like day drinking. It just depends on what I'm drinking. It depends. Like, who who doesn't love bottomless brunch mimosas, right? I mean, that's elite. Um. Do you not like mimosas? I uh, I've never had a mimosa. Ah, uh, you gotta get a mimosa, bro. You gotta get a mimosa, man. You I'm little, I'm new. You I'm champagne. A little a little OJ. It's fantastic. fantastic. I'm I'm new. I turned twenty one like two months ago. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Young Buck. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Bloody Marys, I don't like either. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like tomato juice because, like, to me, I mean, for me, tomatoes are exclusively for meals, right? Yeah. Like, if I drink tomato juice, I feel like I'm drinking spaghetti, and, like, that's just not my vibe. Bro? <laughs> I'm just not, I mean, like, I'm just not doing that. Like, yeah, drinking that's spaghetti just, is gross. That's, like, that's, right? That's a gross concept. I, that's why I just can't understand tomato juice under any sort. Like tomato bisque as a soup, it's a hot juice. That's a whole different dynamic, right? But like if it's cold, I don't know if I can fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? I I, I agree. But thank you. Thank you. We're we're already way off topic, and it's been three minutes. Well, you know, to get into a little personal thing as well, you know, because why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Uh, be, before I get to housekeeping, uh, I got a new fit. You know, because I'm going on. Uh, my first date in a while. You oh, know what I'm saying? mama! It, it's, it's 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 been like a year since COVID. You know what I'm saying? Yo. So you know, I'm not gonna you know drop any 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 other tangents. It's very early on, you know. So we'll see how it goes. But hey, it could also crash and burn. But like we said last week, I'll always have my PS5. Just like the girl that, you know, uh, <laughs> that, that broke my heart <laughs> at prom, right? Yeah. I have my PS4. Then you know, I. Jeez, like it's hard to imagine. Like, yeah, I was in high school when the PS4 was at its heyday. Yeah, and now it's over. 20, 2016. Yeah, twenty sixteen. That was uh, what the fuck came out twenty sixteen? That was oh yeah, it wasn't tried to four. Yeah, Try to four twenty sixteen. Good year. I think Detroit came out then as well. No, Detroit it, was twenty eighteen. Another exclusive came out next to one tried to four. I forgot what it was. Um, hmm. Days Gone came out in Days Gone March. Was God of War. Days Gone was 2018. Oh, no, not Days Gone. Horizon was 2017, like early 2017. Horizon was 2017. Yep, that was a year later. Good times. Good, Good times. times. I don't really remember. I just remember playing Uncharted. I, Shout out to Uncharted 4. I canceled a date because of the Uncharted 4 launch night. As you should. As you should. As you should. I almost uh, missed graduation. High school or graduation because of Uncharted 4. You gra- Wait, you, know? you graduated in 2016? Yeah. High school. Jesus. Yeah. High school. Class 2016. I was a, a very, sophomore. A very good year. 
Good year to graduate. Good year. 2016, we had Pokemon Go that summer. You know? Drake dropped... Uh, which album was it? Um, I think he dropped Views in 2016. Was it Views? You're asking the wrong It doesn't guy. matter. But yeah, sir, I'll, I, I, I'll, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, taking a little mommy, you know, to get some drinks, you know, maybe, you know, a little, a little dinner, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll let, I'll let the podcast listeners know how it goes, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, just some, just some light, just some light personal life business going on, you know? But of course, uh, you brought up Uncharted 4. We will talk about that at the end of the show for the main topic. But before we get to that, housekeeping here catch show here on youtube.com this place in source as well as podcast services like apple Podcasts, google play spotify etc via our anchor link in the description like the video and or rate the podcast to help us get seen by more viewers so we can grow the pss family down below you can also let us know what you like or dislike about the show and connect with us further on twitter and discord in the description but if you're feeling generous Feel free to hit that join button down below to become a member of the channel with the $1 Prince tier like the people of Musa and Gameplay Sir and our $5 King tier members just like Caleb Kaiser, Arachnite, SideQuest Sean, City of Ed Gaming, and the homie Owen. Much appreciative to all the new members as well as checking out our stream series this week. This week, there were no streams. No streams. Honestly, I missed it. I missed it. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm playing Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. We will talk about that, but that's on Vita, so I can't stream that anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, I missed I missed streaming this week. Honestly, I really did. I really did. Now that I'm in this limbo, right? Like, we're a few weeks from Final Fantasy VII. We're a few weeks from Ratchet & Clank. Ratchet & Clank will, of course, get a stream series. I'm, I'm going to stream that game my first playthrough in its entirety up on the channel. Fret not. But I'm thinking about what to stream in the in-between, right? Because I don't think we have a Metal Gear Solid stream this week because I'm still having to play through Peace Walker. Um, so I think that will be covered, but... And I know we'll be streaming Ground Zeroes the week after, so this week, like, do I fuck around and buy Resident Evil Village and just stream that this week? Like, do I do that? I, I do think I, you should do you that. Know what I'm saying? I think you should do that? The people demand I it. might do that. You know what? I might... I might buy it right now. Ooh. I might just buy it right now. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll see. We'll see. So, uh, uh, definitely, but, of course, check out the Twitter and the Discord down below in the description. We had a new person join the uh, Discord this morning. Um, a kind of funny best friend. What was his name? Icy? Icy, yeah. Icy. If you're listening, shout out to you, King. Shout out to you. Uh, definitely join the Discord. A lot of cool homies there. I recognize there a lot. You know, slandering me, adding me on some bullshit. You oh, know I, you know? dude, I absolutely I bully you in that. In oh, oh, hundred percent bully. Yeah, it's 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 complete slander. But you know, it's all right. It's not it's slander you, if it's true, dude. I'll bully. I, I don't. <sighs> but you could have an Ubisoft like representative in that Discord, and I will bully their company right in front of them. Damn, man. In some ways, they should be bullied. In some social aspects within the company, that tends to come out absolutely. But from a gameplay quality standpoint, hey, they're still getting tier. bullied. <laughs> Ubisoft games are like at best I'm giving them a B I, I fucking hate you oh my god uh, if you want to bully us some more or just or at least me you know what or if you want to bully just any gaming company I don't care leave it in the Apple podcast and Spotify podcast review sections I'm gonna check right now if my co-host right now can uh, be so kind as to check Spotify uh, I don't I don't I don't go over there but you know shut Spotify let me see here what is it like uh, oh, the, wow. the forbidden planes I just don't like green, man. You know, I just, I just, you know, like to steer clear from green. <laughs> I, 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 like I mean, my, I, I get it. I, I get that. Like, green is a low tier color. That's facts. That is factual. Like, like gr- green lights for like traffic lights. Shout out to that. You know, there's the, the green to confirm. Okay, but like, as a aesthetic or no. an accessory. True. I do not like green. No. Like no. I no sir. If I. Once upon a time, uh, mm. I actually got into an argument with a uh, a female friend. Mm. I was like, "No," mm. I said, "No one looks good in green on St. Patrick's Day," and she was wearing green, and she had some choice words for me. Mm. You see, th- I understand what you're saying. Like, I understood the sentiment. But however, the aspects that were involved in that conversation, I messed up. <laughs> Yeah, that that might have been the wrong place to say that, but I would 
co-signed that. Uh, like a like a laughs and he, hidden kind of deal. Dude, you're right. No one looks good on St. Patty's Day. Yeah, there's there's a reason for it, and the reason is the color green. <laughs> Yeah, no one looks fucking good on St. Patty's Day. I've never looked at a little mommy and be like, damn, you look bad today for St. Patrick's Day. No, I've never said that. The only people that look good in green, Master Chief and the Doom True. Slayer. True. Tell me anybody True. else that looks good in green. Lie to me. Luigi. Luigi kind of fire. Uh, know? yeah. Luigi got that fit going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, Link. Link looks aight. Yeah, oh. Link, Link looks aight. You know what's the There's common some thing? The sure. common thing what's between up? all of these people, they're fictional. They're not even Vic- real. A man of truth. A man of truth. A man of truth. A man of truth. You imagine Spider-Man Definitely. in green? Wouldn't work. Ew. I'm good with that. I'm off that. I'm good with that. But definitely review us on podcast services of your choosing. In case you missed it on the channel, we did a video, How to Beat Returnal. These are tips for late game. Right, so we're talking Act Three vibes. We're talking post the second half of the game vibes over in that whole sentiment. Definitely check that out. Um, I want to get your opinion on this next thing I did on the channel. I did a Last of Us Part Two PS5 update versus PS4 comparison because yes, we did get a PS5 update for the game and runs in 60 frames. Uh, right now, did you get a chance to download it and check it out for yourself? I did. It, it, oh, fucking goddamn! It. It's smooth. It's so good. It's so good. The dude, um, Owen called it out in the Discord, but I definitely want to highlight it because I think it's I think he's spot on. The animations look so fucking good in 60 frames, bro. It is incredible. Like the way Ellie like reloads weapons in that game in 60 frames, it looks so smooth, bro. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Did you like play like an encounter or Yeah, just a quick encounter. See how it felt. Yeah. Yes. The, my, yeah. No, no, no. Go ahead. 60 fr- I don't know. Like, I, I obviously prefer 60 frames in a gameplay aspect. But I'm so used to seeing The Last of Us in, like, a th- like 30 frames where everything feels, like, a little more slow and meticulous. Mm-hmm. When, like, Ellie's crawling around. It feels like, like, when it's slow, it feels more... I don't know. <sighs> weighty? Is it, like... S- is it like a cinematic type of thing? Yeah, it's, like, it's like a cinematic deal where okay. like all the attacks feel more weighty and 30 because it's slower. Right. So like when right. Ellie uses her whole body and hits you in the back of the head with a wrench, it feels more meaty, I guess. But I can understand that. On a, on a gameplay aspect, yeah, I obviously prefer 60 frames like everybody. Yeah, like I know some people... Um, I've seen on Twitter, like, say that they play Spider-Man in 30 just because of the cinematic feel to it. Um, and, like, I don't know. I guess, like, I can I guess I can see that. It, it ain't for me, though. Nah. Give me all the frames. Give me give me all the frames, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but I played the encounter for the state of play. Uh, it's the part where um, Ellie is going into the hospital. Um, and then there's that encounter with... Um, the fuck, Chelsea Div- yeah, yeah, yeah. It's with the Seraphites, but um, no, 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 no. You're fighting the WLF. Oh, oh in, in the hospital. I, I, yeah, state it's, of play. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about the E3 one. Right, right. Yeah, Tajay played that one, but um, yeah, I did the other state of play one. Uh, where you fight? Oh my God, what's her name in the game? Chelsea Nora? Devars's character, Nora. Yeah, right, right before you do the whole Nora scene, you know, no spoilers just in case people haven't played it, but I doubt it's almost people are listening to this now. Yeah, yeah, I doubt it, but yeah, definitely check it out. Um, I thought it was a great patch. It's exactly what I want out of PS updates, but we will get to that later on in the show, of course, given the title and the thumbnail and everything. Um, you can also check out Road to Rift Apart Episode 7 with the homie Tajay. We did cover the weapons and locations of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, where we got some uh, brief little trailers going over some weapons and traversal mechanics uh, and planets that we'll be able to go to in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We are so close, bro. We have like two episodes and then we're on launch day like we're really close so i'm very excited for that um did you get a chance to check out some of these uh weapons and uh plans and everything or yeah you have I, any thoughts I, on Ratchet and clank yeah uh i i watched uh i watched a good bit of the podcast while i was at the gym hell yeah, hell yeah. i i'm i'm definitely excited like i i kind of wish i 
played through all the main games like you did. Because mm-hmm. I, I feel like there's a, a, a serious disconnect. Like I'm, I was like, oh yeah, Ratchet's coming out. I was like, I'll, I'll probably pick it up day one. But it's I, I don't have that same excitement that you and Tajay did. Right, right. Um, I'd say, damn. Okay, if you you don't have a PS3, do you? Uh, somewhere. It's probably in a closet somewhere. Yeah, um, honestly, in the essence of time, I think you could be somewhat okay with just playing the 2016 Ratchet and Clank. It's in 60 frames, right? So it's going to be a smooth gameplay now on PS5. Um, even though I feel like you're missing a lot from like a crack in time, which I think is going to be very, very important into the Nexus. Like, yeah, I don't know. I still think that, like, you know, I believe them when they say that, hey, like, it's going to be a Ratchet and Clank for newcomers and for people that know the franchise. Like, I just think that me and Tajay are, are just going to get more out of the story, I think. But I think you're still going to be able to be, you know, completely satisfied with the story overall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll but see. I've been, talk- I've been talking for too long. Iraq Knight, what have you been playing this week? Mass Effect. Yes, sir. How is that? I'm so fucking jealous because everyone's having such a good time in Mass Effect. And I'm being stupid because I know I could just play it, but it might be for content for Long Play Club after Metal Gear Solid. But um, what are your thoughts? Um, There's a reason these are my favorite games of all time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like, it's been out for about a week now. A week and a day. I have... Let's check Steam. How many hours... How many hours? What's the... Uh, we are at a crisp 51. Okay. 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 I, I've been mm. putting in about, like, seven and a half hours every day. Yeah, that is over two days, if I did math right. Yes. That's, that, that's 48 hours is two days. Mm. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, yes, sir. Um, <laughs> I'm already on Mass Effect 3. Okay. I finished okay. Mass Effect 2 last, last night... And amazing game. Like, are you, sorry, sorry, but no. What were you gonna say? Like, are you critical pathing or are you doing all I of did, the side content? I like, did all the side content. At? Mass Effect okay, One wow. is pretty short. Okay, yeah, because I'm planning on maybe doing only critical path and maybe some side stuff that really speaks to me. Uh, Mass Effect Two. I'm, I hear Mass Effect Two. I gotta do all of it. Yeah, so not you, all of it, but you gotta do. The, if a squad mate asks you to do it, you gotta do it. Okay. Well, okay. not so gotta do it, but it's recommended. Yeah, I, I, I should. Okay. But in Mass Effect 1, I, could I get away with just doing Critical Path? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'll crit Path at Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 2, if any of my crewmates yeah. has to do something, I do it. Okay. Okay. I do and recommend the Effect- DLC. Like, the DLC okay. for Mass Effect 1 is pretty boring. Okay. But the okay. DLC for Mass Effect 2 is very solid, and it does expand the world a lot. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right. So you haven't played uh, Mass Effect 3 yet? I, I played a few hours of it yesterday. Okay. Okay. So, like, overall, you know, as a, like, longtime fan, right, obviously you are, Um, are you satisfied with this remaster like do you think that it does certain things like maybe in not the best way possible like what are your thoughts like just overall about this package it i i've played mass effect at least like 10 to 12 times okay this is the definitive way to play mass effect yes sir like yes, sir it it definitely fixes some issues I had with Mass Effect 1. It looks much nicer. It runs better. The loading times are crazy fast. Like... Proud of the SSD, baby. Proud of the SSD. I... You'll be in a loading screen for like a second. And you're Damn. back in the fight. When in the original Mass Effect, especially on like the PS3 where, where it came out, like you'd be waiting for a good chunk of time. I see. You can I see. skip elevators that are slow. Like the elevator rides in Mass Effect One were designed to mask loading screens, so they take they take a good minute in in on old old hardware. 
But you can just skip it. As soon as you go in an elevator, it's like, you don't want to wait? Just, just skip the elevator. Hmm. Mass Effect 2 has some nice, like graphical overhauls it does the photo mode is all right it's not right photo mode is, oh yeah you were um saying that last week yeah yeah like it wasn't like insane or anything yeah it felt very tacked on i see i see but that's it's unfortunate and eh, it's all right not not i i honestly wasn't really when I when I got into Mass Effect, is like I really did want to take myself out of the action to uh, to just take a picture. And yeah, I love photography. Pause. What? Keep talking. I'm gonna grab my wallet really quick. I'm gonna you buying village un- hinge. Yes, I am buying village. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna unhinge my headphones real quick. All okay, right, but keep talking. But for any newcomers or long, like like long known fans of the uh, of the franchise. I definitely recommend it. It is the definitive way to play Mass Effect in this day and age. It runs well. It looks good. Gameplay is a lot of fun. They've improved Mass Effect 1's gameplay substantially. It's it's great. These are great games. Unlike yeah, Ubisoft. Man, I'm, Damn it. Oh, my God. This motherfucker. Is- I, I, I was I, almost about to say, man, I reckon I totally agree with you, man. Like, I love that you're loving these games. And now, look at this. You just got to slander fucking slander Ubisoft. <laughs> I would, no, but um, I was hoping sorry, I could get ahead. away with that. It's like a little <laughs> Easter egg for what you're going through. Oh man, but straight up, man, like I'm, I'm really excited to get into it. Like I, I say I've already said like a thousand times, but like I feel like on paper I should love this series, right? And I want to have a similar experience where like a few years ago I was going through a breakup, right? So I was like, fuck it, I just want to play through like all, all the Borderlands and just get into something to just get my mind off things right and um playing through the borderland series which is like another like again long time fan of the series since since i was a kid and um going back to it as an adult was like just as great you know just picking up on things that i missed uh just jokes here and there that i didn't fully comprehend as a kid you know what i'm saying um so i want to have a similar thing with mass effect without the without the like nostalgia of course but just something brand new i can really sink my teeth in you know so it's i'm excited yeah no like i i'm totally with you like mass effect like they're my comfort games like if if i'm ever going through a hard time or even when things are good i i enjoy going through the trilogy and just playing through it again like meeting the old squad mates again it's it's just it's fun it's a comfort game like if i had to pick one game to play just one game to play for the rest of my life i would probably choose mass effect 2 that's beautiful like that's beautiful i i've played every class at least once and there are like eight like seven eight of them Mm. i ladies and gentlemen sorry oh sorry village has been purchased that's all i'm saying let's go it's beautiful play mass effect like it is peak bioware like bioware at their best it's engaging it's funny it's it's heartfelt mass effect are like the the trilogy even though three's ending had some issues three was a good game i i will i will fight (laughs) i will fight anybody I'll die in this hill, like. No, I, 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 I not a damn. I, I, <laughs> I was gonna say I expect you to, but that sounds fucked up. Not I. <laughs> what, what is that? What is that? What do you mean? Like it's. Not, I don't want it to seem like oh, like I, I, like I'm, I'm eager to see you die on a hill. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we have been doing. We have been recording together for about a year and a half, just under. Damn, that's crazy, bro. That's it is crazy. crazy. I some, some some sometimes it'd be like that. It really do. But I when when have I ever backed down from an opinion, even if everybody else disagrees? You know what? Fuck it. Just down the hill, Arachnite. Fuck it. I'll I'll die I'll die in the die hill on. of like the Sam die Raimi on. Spider-Man suit on Mass <laughs> Effect on on not clothes shopping at ten in the morning, like. 
I'll die on any hill. I'm 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 petty. <laughs> Anything else you've been playing, sir? <laughs> Shit. No. Or oh, plays Mass Effect? Yeah, hell yeah. Like hell it yeah. has been as like I just finished finals. Like I'm done with school. Congratulations, good sir. Now you can spend all the fucking time on Mass Effect. Fuck yeah. Dude, yeah. I, that's it. The first thing I did is like, all right, I finished my physics final. It was a massacre. <laughs> like, I, 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 I submitted that final knowing that I didn't know what I was doing. Mm. And mm. after seeing that class average, neither did anybody else. Hey, but a hey, he can't fail everyone. So he's got to do a curve. You know? uh, That's right. Absolutely. Class That's what I was saying. I'm like, class average I'm like, guys, is a look, strong 39%. I'm like, guys, if we all fuck up, he can't fail all of us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like like the oh, Area 51 man. raid a few years ago. It's like they can't shoot absolutely. all of us. They, they can't kill all of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For we, sure. For sure. We had a strong class average of like 39%. They... Physics, see you. physics is brutal, but I've been, I've been dabbling a little bit more into Act Three of Returnal or Act Knight. How's that been? I just can't put the game down, man. I just love the gameplay too much, man. It's, I it's just, it's just too fun, bro. I just can't. As soon as I was done, like all of my the anticipation, like the it's like ah, oh, I want to play Returnal, like that feeling, like the eagerness to go back disappeared. Right. Yeah. And I bet I will have that because I had that same thing with Hades. Where, but me, I have been a lot earlier with Hades. Like with Hades, famously, I just did that one run. I got to see the outside, and I kind of wish it was just one time you got to see outside. You know, because like it's just built up throughout the game, and like I remember, like the feeling I got at lay at night when I when I finally did that run and got to see outside. I got to talk to I forgot her name, but essentially my mom. You know. Um, but with Returnal, I've been to the end, and I just want to keep going back, you know. Um, I'm uh, getting the Sun Fragments. I think I have one more Sun Fragment to get. Will that unlock the final way to go into the house, and, like, that's the Act 3 uh, completion? If you have or all the other stuff. You've got, that, like, the house keys. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. I got I got another house key. I forgot what it was called. Like, the Abyssal Key, there are there are six of them if I remember correctly. Oh, six keys. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not done. <laughs> I don't know. I but I have to get one more sun fragment in the water biome. I forgot what it's called. Um, which that water biome is big as fuck, bro. There's a lot going on there. Um, but yeah. So that's that. That's been going fun. Um, that's been that that's been fun. Uh, I'm still debating on if I'm going for a platinum, you know, but we'll see. We'll we'll see. I'm not sold on it necessarily, but I am pretty close to it, relatively speaking. But Rack Knight, I've been playing Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Came out for the PSP, right? I've heard many things about this game. A lot of very 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 positive uh, statements about this game. I'm here to report, Arachnite. This game is fucking incredible. Like, I'm I'm so serious about... Like, bro, I have been itching to talk about Peace Walker all week, bro. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker is so good, it's, like, stupid as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I can't believe that this is a PSP game, you know? And, like, this is what homies were playing back... In like the mid aughts, like late aughts type type vibe. I think this game came out like 2000, what, 2007? 2011 maybe? Let me see. It's me weird see to think, Walker. like, I don't know. It it hit me and a and a friend recently. It's like, oh yeah, no, like people people really do be like they were born in like 2007. Dude, I think it's really weird. Whenever I have. I have co-workers that say, oh, yeah, like, I was born in, like, 2003 or whatever. It's like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I, I, I know Very this weird. is the worst possible example, but it's like, oh, the only, like, they weren't alive during 9-11. Like, that's something they'll only know about through videos and history That's what books. I'm saying. 
Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, but now I mean, I guess you know they have COVID. I mean, we have COVID. Not that we have COVID, but like we, we have as a as a as a, as a as a landmark. As a landmark in time when a huge societal impact occurred. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I'm sure they're happy about that. Yeah, happy is not the best word, but... Full of intrigue? Question mark? I don't know. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walk came out in 2010, okay? Arachnite. I fucking love this game. Bro. Like, like the way it's structured, it's a lot different than another than the other Metal Gear Solids. Um, it's definitely more of like a a a a mission based type of game. Um, that's similar to that's a little bit similar to Crisis Core. You know, it feels a little bit different and like it feels more in that structured vein. Um, but but it, it's it's very similar in structure. But I just feel like it's a little bit more rigid in um peace walker but you're playing as big boss it's 10 years after the events of Metal Gear Solid 3 um you're dealing with this predicament in uh oh my god costa rica and um it's 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 really 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 cool man like it's a really cool story so far i'm really really enjoying it like i think it's what's i think surprising me the most is that like you would imagine that a handheld version right of um of like a big ip right like metal gear solid you know as a whole wouldn't translate that well gameplay wise to a psp it surprisingly does man but like it really does it, it's probably my favorite gameplay wise I've, I've had in a long time like in metal gear solid like i think it feels closer to metal gear solid 2 in the vein that you can actually crouch walk in metal gear solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, but I think it feels like like a little bit like that in those veins. Um, but you have like so many different like things that you're worrying about in the game. Like and then there's the whole aspect of um Mother Base, right? Are you aware of that that whole dynamic? Like like did you play MGS five or anything like that? Or like or, or like Peace Walker? I uh, I did play MGS five. Okay, I'm, I'm aware of Mother Base, if that's what you're curious about. Yeah, I, I suspected that that system is in MGS5, but I don't think I'm supposed to be told that yet as the non-spoiler person in Long Play Club. But the other co-hosts were saying, like, yeah, like, have like, MGS5 is a very, very different formatted game, right? So it's not going to be, like... You know, your streams are going to be a little bit different. And it's going to be probably easier to stream Metal Gear Solid 5 than the other Metal Gear Solids. Um, and I suspect now that it's because of the Mother Base stuff. But I am in love with the Mother Base stuff, man. Like, I love, you know, getting enemies that I've taken down. Taking them up in the Fulton recovery system. Bringing them into Mother Base, figuring out what their stats are, putting them in the right, you know, type of region in the base, whether it be medical, whether it be combat unit, like, and dealing with people that are, like, deranged and they have to go to the brig to be, to be converted more onto our side, the, uh, I think we're called Soldiers Without Borders, Without Borders, or something like that, um, whatever, uh, group that Big Boss made, now that he's kind of like a nomad, kind of like mercenary type thing, um, it's fucking great, man. It's it's fucking great. I love the way, like, the leveling system, too, where, like, the more you recruit people, the more GMP you have, which is your ability to be able to manufacture new unlocks that you garner. Like, um, you know, you start off with this pistol. It's like a Trank pistol. And uh, you shoot it once, and it takes maybe, like, 30 seconds for the enemy to go down. But as you rank up that pistol through GMP and through development you can have uh, shorter times for tranking and all that like I am in love with this game like I'm I, I genuinely love this game like I think it's fantastic um the boss fights are really fun too surprisingly like yeah they're it's not the most like it's not the best way to control Peace Walker like you know like playing just playing any like you know, intense shooter necessarily on handheld, even though I want to call Peace Walker an intense shooter the whole time, but when you're in a boss battle, it becomes a very intense, fast-paced type thing. That's not always the best way to control, like, 
off of handheld, but it's been working out for me overall. And um, I just really, 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 really love the game, man. I really love it, you know. Um, yeah, it's great. It's great. It's it's definitely one of those now I see it where if the Vita store was still closing, I would say that Peace Walker is an, is an essential purchase to make before the store closes down. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. Shout out to Peace Walker. Um, of course, I'll have my full thoughts and everything um, on, on Long Play Club. Uh, and I think I'm like halfway through the game at this point. I think I'm I think I'm nearing kind of the uh, Start of the like final act low-key kind of sort of um, I think I'm on like mission like 17 or 18 and there's 33 missions in the game So I'm about halfway through the game, but um, I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. You know what I'm saying? So That's it. I'm really glad so, you're enjoying it, man. Yeah, definitely. It's fucking great. It's fucking great also, it's nice to you know, be cozied up in my bed with my Vita playing a game, you know, because that's a very, like, nostalgic gaming circumstance for me, right? Like, I, I have a huge history with the PSP, huge history with the Vita as well, and, um, you know, like, my parents didn't view, like, handheld gaming the same as, like, console gaming, so I couldn't console game during the week, during, like, a school night, but I could play on my handheld whenever I wanted. Weird, weird rules were in place, but um, it's great, man. It's great. It's great. But moving on, of course, to Arachnite PS5 watch. We got some interesting stories here. You know, just want to bring your attention. You know, none too crazy, but uh, of course, we I think said last week that in China PS5s were able to be purchased as of May fifteenth, uh, and some uh, people in some cer certain stores that got a PS5 were able to get this really cool like platinum pin, not the like most intense story in the world but i just want to throw it out there because i just thought it looked like a cool pin you know what I'm saying? and i want a fucking platinum pin you Where's know i'm pin? not in the platinums but yeah that's what the fuck i'm saying i was a day one north american ps5 owner what the fuck you know you were um in the trenches you were definitely in the trenches i would consider you like a a a a a, a six month PS5 owner, you know, five months, four months, whatever it was. I think four months, right? I forgot. When did you get your PS5? Like April. Yeah, like five months. You know, yeah. I would, I would hold, I would hold you, uh, able to get a pin personally. So, hope we get pins, man. I'll be uh, contacting Sony about this because uh, I, I want a pin. You know, maybe we could buy suits, right? Wear a little platinum pin, you know what I'm saying, Arachne? Like, you know saying? like wrist cuffs. Oh yes, yes, per, yes, precisely, sir. You know, you know what I'm saying. You get a little sacred symbol inner lining on the jacket. You know, honestly, that'd be kind of fucking fire. Imagine going to like a formal event and having like a platinum trophy, like cufflink. Oh, I swear to God, I would. I swear I would. I want the sacred symbol socks. The sacred symbol, you know, blazer liner on the inside, you know. Perhaps a sacred symbol's handkerchief, you know what I'm saying? To wipe my tears. When my date tells me, you know, uh, you just never know when to quit, you know? Hey, at least that means you're tenacious. <laughs> That's a quality. Yes, sir. But <laughs> next up here on the PS5 watch, this is a little bit more up your alley. Um, some PS, some, excuse me, some PC games are now going to utilize a uh, DualSense functionality. Um, so it has been discovered recently that the Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition on PC natively supports the many features of the PS5 DualSense controller after downloading the latest hotfix. Discovered by Resi Re Re Reset Era user Dex3108. The poster shared uh, how developer 4A Games has utilized the pad's adaptive triggers in a video that you can watch down below in the description. Essentially, there's adaptive triggers now in Metro Exodus, and um, it's seeming to be a new thing where now a lot of PC games are going to be able to use the dual system controller. As someone that, you know, I would say your primary platform is definitely PC, secondary is definitely PS5, I feel like, for the most part. Um, how do you feel about this, right? Like, like, how do you feel about the nature of, you know, DualSense features being added to some PC games? Like, are you with that? No, yeah. What are your thoughts? I, I don't see any negatives to that. It, 
I, I, I personally just use like a like a Xbox controller with a USB because Steam is weird when it comes to like hooking up PlayStation controllers. But like I I have been curious about just linking up my dual sense to my computer because of how much I enjoy how it feels. Like, I don't know. It's not hyperbolic for me to say that I think the DualSense is my favorite controller for a console. Mm. Mm. It's it's mm. very comfortable. It is very, very comfortable. The Xbox 360, or like some of those like Xbox Elite controllers, however, do come close. I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I just think it's a move that like I kind of didn't like I could have seen like dual sense being added to certain like PlayStation PC games that came out like you know um I assume like there's dual sense features in like Days Gone on PC or like Horizon on PC. Uh, actually you know what? Maybe not Horizon on PC cuz they just refused to update that fucking game. But you know what I'm saying? Um that's what I was assuming Bitter. but Oh, you know, just a little bit, you know. I I'm, I'm Dude, <laughs> you you're, know, I'm, you're I'm bitter. We're gonna save my bitterness for the end, cause I, 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 I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts. Um, but although I will say that Metro Exodus, not my favorite game of all time, for sure, did not like it. Uh, compared to the other two Metro games, I just think that they just went weird with with Exodus overall. But it's cool to see them adding it, and I wonder what other games will get the Dual Sense treatment on PC for sure. So, pretty cool right there. Pretty cool stuff. But going into episode 17 here, quick update. Nothing really crazy to report here, but all of the different content that we uh, talked about last week involving um, uh, Play at Home, the last uh, content package for Play at Home, uh, including the likes of Destruction All Stars, MLB The Show, 2K, Rocket League, and of course, Rogue Company. Once again, everyone play Rogue Company. I don't, don't know listen why you to love that game so much. It's fucking good, Arachnid. That's why. But that's like, why, sir. You're like into it, into it, bro. It's a go- listen. I'm. I just want to get more attention to Rogue Company. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's Am like, I paid off by them? Who knows, bro? I'm not. I'm not. By the way, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, shot that. I shot the high risk though. But. I. I don't know. Like, no, 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 no flame to them. It's just. <sighs> I just think it's a very quality multiplayer game. That's it, all I'm saying. It feels like a free game. Oh, you fucking asshole! <laughs> I, you know, you know, you know the meme of like the 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 guy like the cat that has the knife on him and he has like a shit eating grin. Yeah, that's how I feel whenever I'm on the show, or like even in the Discord. What about you know the little girl with the house on fire and she's like staring back at the camera like, yeah. very, like menacingly? That's how I interpret you a lot. You know, you just, just... Chaos. <laughs> Chaos. Pain. No, but uh all 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 uh jokes aside, uh definitely if you play any of these games, you know, to any frequency, I would definitely recommend you just redeem them. And honestly, I just redeemed all of them, because why not? You know? I'm not sure when I'll play rogue, you know. Well, I mean, I'll play Rogue Company a lot. But, like, I'm not sure when I'll play, you know, MLB ever or, like, Rocket League or Warframe. But it's nice to know I at least have a little bundle, you know? Just a little sum sum. Why not? It's free, you know? So definitely do that on your PS4 and PS5. Uh, next up here. So we talked about a few weeks ago that Sony bought uh, Evo, right? Uh, of course, a eSport tournament for fighting games. And there was this news that came out this week that I think is an interesting wrinkle to this whole initiative of Sony paying a little bit more attention to eSports. So this was written by Sammy Barker. Links below in the des- description to all of these stories. This is, of course, on Pushquare. He says, quote, Sony patented, a, a, Sony patented a, an eSports betting system for its consoles a couple years ago with the Excuse me. With the documentation outlining a framework whereby odds would be calculated by a player or team's historical performance, allowing users to then bet on their favorites in a variety of ways. The papers out the papers outline a number of hypothetical examples with in-play options like quote character A gets hit in the next minute, 
The idea is that the system is constantly calculating new odds for you to bet on even while matches are taking place, similar to what a lot of betting apps do for real sports these days. What are your thoughts on this, Arachne? This is this is interesting. It you know what I'm saying? I it, it sounds similar to like the Twitch bets deal. Okay. Okay. I I it, it's it sounds like a good way to get people like invested in the stream, but it feels weird as like I'll pay five dollars that this is like that the streamer is gonna eat shit in the next minute. Like, I'll bet it five dollars that you're going to eat shit. <laughs> it's like, it does feel weird. It does feel weird. And it's either I owe it like I like something that I've noticed in my life in my experience, and I feel like this may ring true with a, a lot of people, but I'll be playing well. And the second after I talk shit, I completely eat it. Like, hmm. it, it it feels like God always is like, oh, time to humble you. Yeah. Like, be still, my son, and then I'll completely miss a shot. <laughs> like, and, sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say it's like just people betting. It's like I'll I'll like if I'm streaming and I read chat. It's like okay, okay. There's a uh, there's fifty dollars betting that I'm gonna eat shit. I'll probably eat <laughs> shit. Yeah, just like the pressure of it. Absolutely. Yeah, like choking under pressure a little bit. For real. Um, it's also worth noting, of course, that like this is a patent, right? There, Sony has a lot of patents. A lot of companies have a lot of patents that never actually get made. Um, and I don't know if this would actually fly in a mainstream standpoint, right? Like, I don't know if this will ever actually actually see the light of day. You know what I'm saying? But I guess it's interesting that they just patented it, you know? It's it's a interesting proposition. Like, I, I don't know. For me, it's like, hey, if you have a tried and proven way, however that is done, to make sure that, like, kids aren't abusing any like betting system right or like using it in general right if you can somehow make it to where you know adults that have incomes that understand the rem that, that understand the ramifications of gambling in itself partaking gambling i don't personally have a problem with it at all right but i i definitely get a little bit more on the side of eh, i don't know about this when it's like available to kids Right, so well, I'm just not sure how they would actually break. That. I mean, what do you think about that? Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? According to terms and service, don't you have to be like at least 13 to to be on Twitch? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Like, I mean, specifically, like if they added this like betting system, like in some of their competitive games in the future, right? Like, what if it's in like a uh, uh, you know, Street Fighter Six, whenever that comes out, right? Like they have some sort of e- esports betting system in that game natively to the console, right? Of PS Five. Like if they were able to navigate that to where they could verify that hey, an adult is on this account. But then again, it's like there's plenty of kids that play on their dad's accounts. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know. Interesting though. I'm not. I'm not at all inherently against it. I am against kids betting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's wishy-washy. But, hey, it's just a pad. It probably won't get made overall. Like, because I know anything with, like, gambling and betting, whatever, from, like, a game standpoint, always gets, like, it always gets the threat of, like, U.S. government attention, you know? And I know we definitely don't want, like, the government in our games necessarily. You know, so we'll see. We'll see how that all goes. But next up here, you know, this, uh, you know, this small game by a small company, Rockstar, it's called Grand Theft Auto Five. You ever heard of it, Iraq Knight? You know what I'm saying? I wish yeah. I hadn't. Damn. I'm Damn, so sick of GTA Five. Damn. My man pulled up. Jesus. Dude, I'm I telling like, you, I'm here for I violence. like online. I like online. You know, I'm. I'm excited to go back to online like, this fall because, yes, sorry, go ahead. All I was going to say is every Saturday I wake up before the podcast and it's like, you know what? Today's fight night. 
<laughs> you just start fucking doing the shadow boxing and shit. You're ready to go. It was announced this week that GTA 5 will be releasing on November 11th, 2021 this year. Um, they say here that uh, they... Let's see. So the developer casually let the release date slip in its latest blog update, promising an expanded and enhanced edition of the ridiculously successful open world game. They also said here that as an added bonus, this summer's updates to GTA Online will include special benefits for players to take advantage of in... Wait. I'm stupid. As an added bonus... The summer's updates to GTA Online will include special benefits for players to take advantage of in these expanded and enhanced versions when they drop. Interesting. Okay, cool. Um, they also say that this new standalone version of GTA Online for PS5 will be available for free exclusively to PS5 players during the first three months. So, yeah, that's... So, I think only the online portion will be available for free. So, after the three months... Can you just not redeem it, or you can't access it? Or do you have to pay for it? Yeah, like, after the three months, do you have to go and buy... I'm probably just gonna buy GTA 5 on PS5, like, fuck it. Like, that'll be my fourth time buying GTA 5. <laughs> I will not be buying GTA 5 again. <laughs> what? Nah, man, come on, bro. We gotta... We I have gotta it on my PS3, I have it on my PS4, and I have it on my computer. I'm not giving them one more dollar. What's one more dollar? You know what I'm saying? It's 60 more dollars. What's 60 more dollars? <laughs> like, you know what? I might I might just have to, you know, give you a little... You know what? Would you accept it as a Christmas present? As no. Well, you know? What? Brett. Dude, if you're gonna if you're gonna spend sixty dollars on that, go donate it. I'll give you charities that need the money. You don't wanna be the fifth time i've bought gta 5 you no be that number five no no okay. i okay. i will pay you not to <laughs> damn i damn. on it like i used to love gta online i i was barely 13 when gta 5 came out i'm yeah, a bro, whole ass adult i'm an adult no, I'm, it's been a while yeah like it's been a while i i i don't get it actually like, uh, uh, fuck off, <laughs> Rockstar. <laughs> here's 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 my thing, right? It was around 2016, okay, when it started to dawn on me that like, yo, this game already feels old, right? Like 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 GTA Online, because its 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 structure is from the PS3, right? And it just feels like a PS3 game, right? So I'm hoping that with this update. With this PS5 version, that I mean, I'm only know that right now. I just wanted to feel closer to a modern game, and the reason why I think it will is because look, they could have probably just ported it to PS5, right? Like you can play GTA 5 right now on, like you can play GTA PS4 on PS5, right? I, I'm assuming. I believe so. I don't see why you couldn't. Yeah, 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 right? So, I just want it to really feel like a modern game. And given that they are spending a lot of time with this, it seems like, like, you know, this has been a project. Like, we first got wind of this during the PS5 reveal event back in, like, September of last year, you know? So, it so it, so it, it seems like they've put a lot of work into it. I just hope that it feels good to play online, you know? I'm really hoping for that, but we'll see. We'll see. But, uh, I'm going to buy it. I I'm fuck it, I'm gonna buy it. Whatever, it's fine, you know. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we shall see how that goes out, uh, for sure. But uh, next up here, of course, we are getting closer and closer to E3, closer to um, you know, the. Did I forget? Wait, did I not open up all the links? No, I did. I did. We're good. Sorry, my bad. Um, next up here, PlayStation is confirmed to be part of Summer Games Fest 2021. This is, of course, Jeff Keighley's summer event that we did that happened last year and everything. And uh, he put up a spot screen of all of the 2021 partners that will be at Summer Games Fest. And PlayStation is one of them. So just wanted to highlight that, you know. Uh, maybe they'll they'll bring something of substance. But, like, what what do you think they would bring to Summer Games Fest or Night? Like, or, or, or maybe, like, what do you want to see? I don't know. Just, just give, me, give, give me some thoughts. Give me some thoughts. Uh, hopefully we see a little more on Ragnarok. I doubt mm. it, but... 
I, I just don't know if like it'd be at this event specifically. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I agree I with that. I feel like they would not bring any first party stuff to this thing. What I do want to see and what I think makes the most sense, hear me out, Kana Bridge of Spirits. That's yeah, coming that's, out in August. That's got a it's it's got a smaller scale to it. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be a really, really good thing to bring here. Um uh what was that Kung Fu game that they debuted Panda? Say a play. No, not Kung Fu Panda. Um <laughs> Sifu. Really? Sifu? Just completely shrug off the joke? Alright, it's fine. No, nah, I mean I like that. I like that. I like that. Thanks. I, like that. I don't you know what actually I don't love Kung Fu Panda. Can I say that? I mean you talk shit about Shrek. <laughs> As Shrek often as I ass. talk about like Ubisoft, Shrek is fucking ass. Don't even, don't even try it, dude. Shrek I, is ass. You've got, oh. let me, my man. You're gonna tell me that life is a highway is better than Shrek, like yes. Oh my god, yes. What the fuck? Yes, absolutely. Are you? Life is a Highway ran tw- ran 2006. Ran that year. Ra- Rascal Flats. Ra- Rascal Flats. Dominating. Dude. Come on now. Come on now. Kachow? Come on now. I... Uh, <laughs> uh, I know we've said it like 10, 20 times. We've said it quite a bit, but I don't know how we run this show. Bro, it's just like yin to the yang. You know it, it is yang. Like, we. Yin to the yang. I don't. What was the last thing we agreed on? Um, no, I, uh, what was the last thing you agreed on? <laughs> like, not like a we general like, statement. Like, it's like, oh, like, the PS5 is good. Like, no, I, need, I was about I to say. To- <laughs> I was about to say. I mean, like we both, we both like the PS Five, right? Like, no, that's... I mean, like something like <laughs> specific. Hmm. I feel like we just did this episode. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> I think that um, K Net Bridge of Spirits is, is is something that could be there. Sifu as well. I think we we could see the appearance of that. That'd be cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe. Uh, you know, actually, no. I was gonna say like, like maybe a reveal of like a title for the, one of the new IPs that are coming out, but I don't like of Jade Jade Raymond's like game, maybe you know, or the multiplayer game that's being developed by um, that one group of that 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 one team. I forgot the specifics, but maybe something like that. But it's like, no, I feel like they'd want to announce that at, at like a say of play, right? So I'm imagining some like second party stuff there, but. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. I took off the whole week of E3. I'm very hyped for it. Um, and of course, you have an open invite to come on any of our reactions Ooh. on Joy Cloaks if you want. Correct, of course. Let's of course, go. You know. I open mouth cry, infamous. I know it's not gonna be there, but I, I, I'm I'm attempting to manifest it. No, I would really fucking lose my shit. Like. I oh, dude. I, See, that's something we agree on. Yeah, in like Infamous being Infamous. a fantastic franchise. Absolutely. Elite. Elite. I I watched a few videos on Infamous too cuz I like I was on I was just scrolling through YouTube, a little bored. And I saw it's just like a recommended clip is like the good ending. So I rewatched the good ending and it just went me down like a rabbit hole. Of like then the evil ending and then like a a character breakdown of Cole McGrath and it's just like how how has it been seven years seven eight years since the last infa- main infamous game yeah man it's it's fuck it fuck it hurts man it hurts it, it hurts. hurts it hurts pretty bad infamous the bad end the evil ending of infamous two was gonna be canon. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Then we got... I really didn't like Second Son. I, the more I talk about it, the less I like it. I just thought it was just okay. <laughs> but, like, like I'm, I'm kind of... I don't know if I'll say, like, I hated it. And, like, you're not saying you hated it, but... I think you can say you disliked it and not hate it. It right? was, like... It was, a, it was a very... It was a strong 5, 6 
This is just forgettable. Also, like, why why the fuck would you give me a power at the end of the game to not use it on anything in the main story? Like, why? You uh, know? I, I don't know. Like, just... I thought that was a bad choice. We, we could have had, like, a new conduit take down the beast like yeah why wasn't delson just like what <sighs> just a new world this like okay because cole like the evil and then cole killed all non-conduits mm -hmm. to turn them into to turn like to he was a walking breathing race fear imagine it's like okay We're delson his family his brother who's a cop all that his the his tribe none of them were conduits just him and cole comes along and it's like i don't want to be a conduit and it's like you don't have a choice cole destroys the village like the evil ending of second son delson's pissed go kill the god walking among you so good and you could have had a good ending where you take down Cole and then it's a new world. Evil ending, you join him. It's like, I'm stronger than you. You either kill him and take him, like take his place or you join him. Like, man, I want, give me another infamous. Like, okay, here's Listen. a question for you. Here's a, yes, yes. Infamous three. Okay. It's like, Sucker Punch puts all their time and focus and love into Infamous 3. Okay. Or Ghost of Tsushima 2. Okay. Choose one. The other gets wiped out, never releases. Ghost. Ghost. Really? Look, it's like... <sighs> Fuck. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Cause like, I just don't, like like I don't know. I think I would. Uh, yeah, I would want them to do Ghost. I think I think I think Ghost was so good that I want to see them flesh out that world and like what else they could do with that game and like how can you imagine how fucking incredible that game is gonna look on PS5? Like, bro. Like a new Ghost game on PS5 is gonna look insane. But you're right. If mystery would look immaculate as well, right? Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I think I would rather do ghosts, just knee jerk, just off of just playing that first game, just loving that story and everything. Um, I. But even if they were like, hey, like we we did a massive overhaul on Infamous One and Two and Festival of Blood, coming to PS Five. That's what I want. That's what. That's what I want. Like, oh yeah, I would. Yeah. I, I, dude, I'm starving for content here for Infamous. Like we have had nothing. We have had nothing since First Light. Nothing. Nothing. Like no. we are. We are starving out here. Straight up. I believe someday we will get it. We will get it. But have you ever heard of this game called Bio Mutant? Bio Mutant. Bio uh, Mutant. I've seen it. Like it's it's the number one game on Steam at the moment. Really? Yeah, like on the like the global sellers. I don't know. It looks kind of mid. There there was a snafu yesterday where you were able to purchase the game for like two dollars. I think on PC yesterday, so I think that might be why they skyrocketed. Like like it was a problem with like the listing or whatever. Like it was some BS that happened. I was at work, so like I don't really know the full details of it, but I know people were getting it on PC for like two dollars, and it was like a massive bug. But um, I wanted to, to talk about it on the news segment because uh, Biomutant, um, I've been following this game for a while now, for maybe like a year and a half or two years now at this point. Um, I think the game looks pretty cool. You know, I'm intrigued by it. Um, I definitely want to check it out. I am probably won't get it day one, but I'm just interested to see like how it does because it might be up my alley maybe, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the thing about this game that came out this week was that, was that THQ Nordic... Uh, did come out and talk about Biomutant and how it's running on its respective platforms. So I'll read this here uh, in the quote. With this build, the option for native 4K on PlayStation has been disabled, has been disabled due to stability and performance related issues. 
What you see here is 1080p at 60 frames per second, upscaled to 4K at 60 frames per second. It will remain deactivated for the release version 2. So they're citing specific problems with the way PS4 games are translated to PS5, right? And inherently, like, there seems to be a problem with PS4 games not being able to take full capacity of the PS5 hardware in terms of some aspects. So it so it so it says here that you know it is worth noting that this is not a native next gen release. It's a PS4 game running through backward, backwards compatibility. The hope was that this title would be significant that there would be significant improvements specifically targeting those those playing on a PS5. Unfortunately, that does not appear to be the case. The situation, the situation is worsened by the fact that the Series X will deliver a native 4K at 60 frames per second. Um, but it's weird because, you know, we have some first party games like God of War and Days Gone that have been able to do the 4K 60, right? Um, it's just some games that they're not able to. I'm wondering if it's because of how Biomune was was specifically developed on PS4 and how... Like, if it's a they issue or if it's a third party issue, like, they don't have access to be able to have the proper software maybe to make it run in 4K on PS5. But um, they do cite a thing that I've seen with a few games where, like, there is kind of a problem with third party games on PS5 that are PS4 versions of that game running not how you how you would how you would expect or running at its fullest potential on PS5. So I just want to throw that there. I just wanted wanted to throw it out there. But do you got any thoughts on this? Like, do you think that like this is like a pretty significant problem, Loki? Because I think it's a little bit concerning. But what do you think? What do you think? I I do think it's a problem, like or yeah. like concerning at least. I don't know, like. I don't want to say it sounds lazy. Yeah, right, yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, a lot of people did have your takeaway on that on Twitter and everything. Like, you know, is it a studio thing? Is it a, you know, PlayStation side thing? But um, uh, I saw they replied on Twitter to someone that had a similar kind of, you know, kind of cadence. And they were telling that person that they had 20 people that worked on Biomutant this whole time, which uh, I didn't know was that small. Yeah, I did, no, not, that, I did not know that. That yeah. puts it into perspective. Yeah, because I totally did not know that. Yeah. We, even, like, like I sometimes forget that these aren't, like, AAA studios making games like these all the time. It's not, like, 1,500 yeah. employees working on Assassin's Creed. It's still right. coming out pretty mid. But, uh... No, like, these passion projects are usually, like, 50 people, and not, they don't always come out great, but it, it, it is a passion project. Yeah. I yeah. don't know, like, as long as the game is good, I'm sure everything will fall into place eventually. It's, these are complicated times. Hmm. But... If it's a, if it's a pretty eh game at its core, well then that's just the way the the cookie crumbles. Yeah, yeah. It is important to know too that like you know I feel like we haven't had a lot of attention in the industry in the double A scene, especially like during like the PS4 era. I feel like it really became like more of a triple A versus indie, right? I feel like the double A is kind of got blended into the AAA space in a way that now when we see a, in all intents and purposes, you know, I think it'd be wise of you to view Biomutant as a double A game, right? Um, yeah, like, I just, like, you, you couple that and we see the, potentially the ramifications of that where they just don't have the studio size or the time or the budget to really, uh, you know, spruce it up for the PS5. Like, I guess that could possibly be the case. But then it goes to show you on the other side, right? It just shows you the... Honestly, I think I might have to come clean here. You know, I was a little bit wrong about smart delivery, right? I know it's not, like, the reasoning why the Series X is running in 4K. Oh, we know. It is. It is. It is. Like, I guess the one of the clear benefits of the Xbox side is that is that uh, smart delivery where they're able to 
you know, the system is able to read the version of the game that it's running on the hardware and then it's able to give you the correct version for the hardware that you're running it on right um and clearly the ps5 does not have that right so uh i think it's another example of you know that's actually a really good thing that the xbox side has you know that smart delivery system so just want to throw it out there you know i'm i definitely want to play it I'm not sure when i'll play it specifically but i kind of want to play it. i just don't know if i'll play it on a on uh, upscaled 4k i would have loved to hear them say like hey it is coming we're just working on it but they did not give any indication on the such so who knows who knows next up here you ever heard of uh gears of war i'm stupid as fuck why did i say that yeah rack Knight. you ever heard of gears of war vaguely vaguely hmm. yeah. well you know you know uh well there's been a lot of talk about this recently over the past few months and um there was this long going like you know hidden story that there was a ps3 version of gears of war 3 that was developed right and uh they were they were testing you know uh i think it was epic games at that point you know we're we're thinking about bringing gears of war 3 to the ps3 right but um um but we have a really cool revelation, you know, that Gears of War 3, the uh, PS3 version, was released on dev kits. So you can actually play Gears of War 3 if you have a PS3 dev kit. You can download the data online, I think, and you can actually compile it, and you're able to run it on a dev kit for the PS3. So mm. it's uh, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So the quote here, um, so it was a leaker by the name of Pixel Butts. He says, quote, I no longer plan to release prototype game stuff after this, as this was the last one I was sitting on. Um, so he's done a few of these. But uh, he also says that this is an archive of the original data built by Epic Games on May 19th, 2011 for Gears of War 3 for PS3 systems. So, uh, yeah, it was a 10-year-old version of this game. And um, it's pretty cool. Not, not, not like much there. I just thought it was a pretty neat story, but yeah, no. It. I assume yeah. it's surprising. Like I'm surprising it never saw the light of day. Yeah, I just thought it was cool, like to think of like because like uh, there's also like another story that like you know Microsoft wanted to put Halo Master Chief Collection on PS4, like that was something that like they were like trying to do low key, you know, but obviously it, it never panned out, but. I just love little stories like that in the industry of like what could have happened, you know, pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. Last thing here, of course, I know we're super hyped for Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate coming out next month, but it seems that there are going to be some more Final Fantasy stuff as well. So this is from a, a reset era quote unquote insider named Navatra, which I've actually heard of uh, his or her name before, um, and they recent and they previously predicted. Um, uh, the PS5 showcase reveals like Final Fantasy 16 would be there as well as an exclusive and everything. Um, but he says here, quote, I believe you can expect at least one major Final Fantasy announcement in addition to updates on the currently announced stuff. Um, the post goes on to say that it'll be a good E3 season for Square Enix overall. Arachne, we're on the precipice of E3. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. This is this is crazy, you know. How do you how do you like what do you want out of Final Fantasy? Like, what other project do you think like there could there could be that would be exclusive to PS Five? What are your thoughts? I don't know. <laughs> like, it's I'm very curious to see what they do, but nothing immediately comes to mind on what could happen. I wonder. So intrigued. I'm so intrigued. I love that now I'm able to look at Final Fantasy in like a very different way. Like now I'm like into the shit, you know. But let's see. So he also says, uh, I believe we're getting two major Square Enix reveals this June: a PS5 exclusive Final Fantasy title and a cross-gen um, Eidos title as well. Interesting there too. Okay. Okay. And like to be clear, like this new Final Fantasy game is not Final Fantasy. It's not Final Fantasy 16, it's not Integrate, and it's not Remake Part 2. 
it's another Final Fantasy that's separate. That's going to be exclusive, you know. You know what I would love? You know what I would really love, Arachnite? What would you love? I would love Crisis Core to be remade. Yeah. Like a, mat, like a full Crisis Core remake in the style of Intergrid? Yeah. Yeah. I would fucking kill for that. Even though we are technically getting that through uh, Ever Crisis, the mobile game, you know? Like it's kind of happening, you know? But mobile. But I would love to see that. Or maybe even Dirge of Cerberus too. Fuck it. I would, I would love that too, but... We'll see. We'll see. But overall, I just wanted to take a note of that because definitely I feel like we're we're going to know in like two weeks what that is. Oh, you know what? Actually, probably not because I feel like they might do a stay at play in like July or something. But yeah, I just wanted to note that there. You know what I'm saying? Did you hear that burp? Was that audible? Uh, no, right? I didn't notice it. I fucking hope not because that, that sounded kind of questionable on this side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In my internal body. Um... But uh, the main main topic here, of course, um, um, we're going to talk a little bit, right? We're going to have a nice little conversation, okay? Because I'm going to, I'm going to let loose, all right? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say some shit, okay? We're talking about games that need a PS5 update. You have a PS5 Arachnite. You're enjoying it, as far as I'm aware. Is that correct? I am beautiful as am i but there are certain games that i want to play that i feel that need a ps update okay i want to pick your brain first there is a list here on the dock these are just exclusives that i just want to just throw out there you know just want to just throw out there right um do you have any updates that or like any ps4 games that you want to see updated to ps5 bloodborne Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Uh yes, sir. Uncharted 4. What's the weirdest thing about Uncharted 4, right? Is that I put the Nathan Drake collection here as well, right? And then Nathan Nathan Drake collection kinda because that's already in 60 frames, right? Like that's not a problem. But Uncharted 4 is in 30 frames still. Like that's a problem. You know, I just lost legacy as well. Yeah, you just know. a frame rate like jump, and maybe like like small graphical improvements because Uncharted Four is still super solid. Oh yeah, yeah. So, w- would you want to see a re- resolution boost in Bloodborne too, or if- like what, uh, like as a fan, what what would you want Bloodborne to have on PS Five? If it's either a higher resolution or 60 frames, 60 frames. Right, right. Absolutely. But if I could get both, that would be good. I feel like you you could get both, you know? I feel like you could easily get both. Yeah, it's Maybe, a, it's a, it's an older game. Yeah, it's what, 2014? 2015, 20, I think. 2015? Yeah, yeah. Would The little bit I've seen of Bloodborne, I think it would be insane if they added, like, ray tracing to the game. Like ray trace lighting in the Bloodborne, I think would make it look fucking crazy. Or like, am I wrong? No, I think because it looks like a shiny, wet game, right? Yes. Is that a weird way to describe it? A little bit. I mean, like you know, like the Resident Evil games like seem to be wet, you know, in their aesthetic, right? No, maybe. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you keep digging that hole. Do you do you not like referring to games as wet? You know what I'm saying? I only buy Is games that... if they're moist. Uh, I need moist. a little I need a little moisture in my games. Pu- yes, sir. Remember Puddlegate yes, in Spider Man? Puddle... Shout out to Puddlegate. Shout not to shout Puddlegate. out to Puddlegate. Anybody that Puddlegate did, was anybody that Puddlegate did that, was... get a job, touch some grass. Puddle Puddlegate was one of like the dumbest things I've ever engaged with in this space ever <laughs> so stupid but um but yeah no like i think yeah I, and obviously bloodborne is one of the big ones obviously that like a lot of people ask for for sure um and i and like i think that there could be a reality where like 
you know, we 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 do get a frame rate boost, at least 60, right? But like I assume you would want to go further, obviously, but like at least 60, right? Um, I think it could get a resolution boost and get maybe some ray tracing here and there for sure. Um, but yeah, like I think above levels for that game specifically, you're probably gonna want to do uh, 60 frames for sure, for sure. I'm with you on Uncharted 4 as well, right? I think it still looks great visually. I think Lost Legacy as well looks great, obviously. Um, but having both those games in 60, and considering that they did a similar thing with Last of Us Part 2, I hope that those other games are next. Honestly, I would love to see that. Um, because I, I would love to go, to go play on Uncharted 4 in, uh, 60 frames. That'd be great. That'd be great. Did you ever play the Order 1886, Arachne? No. I, I heard lackluster things about that game. You know what? I'm going to check really quick. I think Order runs in 60 already, does it? I don't... It's either it's either in 60 or a very, very stable 30. Oh, it's actually... Oh, wow. It. Oh, okay. Never mind. According to... Uh, it, wow. Wait, hold on. So on April 29th, uh, on PlayStation Universe... Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, I'm okay. This is such a fucking clickbait, dude. The the fucking title says, "Is the order 1886 getting a PS5 4K 60 FPS upgrade?" Question mark. Thinking that okay, like like maybe someone heard something. Da, da, da. The article says, "Sadly, there is no order 1886 PS5 4K 60 FPS upgrade. <laughs> the game runs at 1080p at a log 30 frames." These they, motherfuckers. They really just abandoned that game, huh? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot about that game that's that can't be viable today um ready at dawn the developers behind that game got bought by facebook so they're no longer like associated with playstation now um so that ip is extensively dead i think for the most part rip bozo but, um, i guess hmm? rip bozo i guess yeah 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 but um hypothetically like if ready at dawn were here i would love to see a patch for that game just because th that game looks insanely good for 2015 like like it looks incredible like i i really 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 agree like that game looks great um but yeah no like i think that could have also done also been a really cool ps5 patch for that game as well for sure but let's get to the meat let's get to the real meat here you know what i'm saying that's stranding i think you don't like it right that's eh, okay like lackluster 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 Dude, if I wanted to walk around, I'd go outside. But like, you know, like the balancing and all that and the and the and the you know. <laughs> you want me to pay $60 in the year of our lord 2021 to put a ladder on a hill? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You know, you know? I mean, uh, you got Norman Reedus, you know what I'm saying? You know? You, uh, I'm got little BB. I'm Princess you know Beach. That was a real joke that they made. I'm fragile, Fuck. but not that fragile. No, it's... I'm fragile, but not fragile. Uh, is that supposed <laughs> to make it better? <laughs> It didn't. I fucking love that game, man. Dude. I can't wait to play it again. I, I lost money when I returned it. I got... It's just such a... <laughs> I went to... How much money did you lose? How much money? I was like... I took the first deal they offered. I paid full price for it. And I was like, hey, can I give this back? It's like, we're going to give you the, the pre-owned like, amount. It's like, I don't care. Mm. It's like, f f fuck it. <laughs> uh, this, I, if I wanted to walk around and knock everything over, I would go outside. I don't know. Hideo <sighs> Kojima kind of fell off. I didn't really like MGS Five either. <laughs> oh, so you didn't? So you're the first person I've heard that did not like MGS Five. I didn't really care for it. Interesting. Like, I'm excited to see how I feel about the game. Yeah, you'll probably like it. I, I, I didn't care for it very much. I didn't like the gameplay all that much. Real people love the gameplay in MGS Five, so like, it feels so clunky. 
the Fox engine sucks. What? Dude, you have some unpopular opinions here. Like According just, to what I've heard, I'm not saying like I hold these opinions that are opposite of you. I'm just saying like that's what I've been told many a time from the general public. Well, that's just been that's just Metal Gear in general. I think all the games play pretty poorly. Like they're so clunky. It feels like controlling a tank. In some ways I agree with you, in some ways I don't. Right, like the only thing that I hear about Metal Gear Solid that people, I, I just don't understand is that like people fucking love MGS three, and I just cannot understand that. I can't. I you know? MGS four is good. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree. Very very I agree. good. But it I just agree. I think I don't think any of the MGS games play particularly well. Interesting. It's Interesting. it's it's miserable to play through them. I can't tell if, like, it's bad or I just got used to it over playing them for the last few months. I, I'd say used to it because you remember those feelings when you first played MGS1 back at the very beginning? I did not like the way MGS1 controlled at all. But I was playing on the PS1. I didn't have any analog sticks, you know, so there's a lot that goes into that one. But Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Like, I, I think the story is cool. I think it's a little convoluted. Oh, definitely. And a little pretentious. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I may not just, I just may not be a fan of Hideo Kojima's work, like, overall. Like, I, I don't dislike Metal Gear. I think it's cool. But it's not like the godsend, like some people treat it as. I don't, I don't, I mean, so far, I don't think it's a godsend either. I do understand that it is, I don't think I've played a game series like Metal Gear Solid before. Yeah. I will give it that. Like, I will stand by that. That, like, I think that in a similar vein, I think Death Stranding was one of the most unique games of last generation. How? Like, full stop through and through. How? Like, I mean the most unique in 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 terms of, like, what the actual gameplay manifests in, in itself and, like, what you're actually doing in the game, I feel like is a very, very unique game. You know, that's strange. Do you think that training was like like generic or like I don't you, know? Explain. Dude, like, you walk around. Name me another game where you're doing, what you're doing in Death Stranding. Walking every game. Stop this! Stop, dude. This. There's nothing. Stop you this! You just you're an Amazon oh delivery boy. God. You're a delivery boy. You get paid eight dollars oh an hour. Oh my god, bro! You drink monsters like they is like oh. Norman, I'm tired. Let me drink my monster energy over and over to make sure that I'm ready to go. Sponsored by Monster Energy. I don't know, man. It just... I I will stand by... I think that Metal Gear Solid as a series has been a very unique experience, and so has Death Stranding. Death Stranding is like wearing a bright orange shirt. (laughs) That feeling... (laughs) That feeling of why, almost shame. Why do I like understand that so much? I've never worn. But I mean, it's like it's like looking one, like, at somebody wearing a bright orange shirt. It's just very it's much unique. Out there. It's unique, sure, but that doesn't mean it's good. I mean, I wasn't even necessarily attaching the quality. I guess because, like, I, hey, I if you didn't like this trend, I I'm, I'm not really gonna value on that. Like, I I can see why people would not like it. It just worked for me. And I, I, and I, I just think above all else, like you can say from a general standpoint that it's a very unique game, without uh, saying it's good. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, 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 I think it controlled like garbage. Yeah, I don't agree. I actually like the way it felt. Yeah, well, you. Yeah, also we got, just don't you, agree. You, you got some low standards though. This mother of fucking god, bro. I want Death Strand to get the uh, adaptive triggers. Because, you know, when you're balancing left and right, when you're going downhill, you know, maybe you have a little a resistance and tension. You know what I'm saying? You get some haptics in there. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody run, it really runs in 60, but higher resolution, I'll take that. You know? I'm I'm down to see that game on PS5. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. And the last one here, that at least I have, I have in my notes, the last one. The one that I'm so fucking mad... That still hasn't gotten the update 
Horizon Zero Dawn. Arachne, help me, bro. Help me, bro. I'm I'm already lightheaded, bro. Like I Should I'm I losing my bitter. Huh? Should have got a computer. <sighs> yeah, you've seen it in 60, bro. How good does it look? I've seen it in 144, gamer. I fucking hate you. How, how's it look, bro? Does it look nice? It's crisp. Does it look good. It looks good. It looks good. I wish. I wish. I wish. Ah, oh, man. Man. Because I, I really thought when they updated the Ratchet, I'll be like, yo, that means they have, to, they have to do it to Horizon, right? And so far, nothing. You know? So far, nothing. But the morning it happens, right? Uh, the morning I get an 8 a.m. tweet notification about Horizon Zero Dawn going, going 60, I'm going to fucking cry. Trust. I'm going to be so excited, bro. Can't wait. Can't wait. But I'll kick it to you. You know, was there any games last generation that you want to see upgraded to the PS5? Like any games that you want to see a frame rate boost or like a, a resolution, dual sense support? Like, what are your thoughts? Every game that I've wanted to see has already gotten the upgrade, or is and, perspective okay. to get the upgrade. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. So you're 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 pretty much all covered. Like you're all good. I'm good. I'm chilling. Must be nice. 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 Well, um, I, I'm trying to think of something. I mean, I'm trying. I'm I'm struggling to think of a third party game that I would want to see in 60. Like if the Wolfenstein's weren't in 60, but I think do I think what Wolfenstein 2 was. I think maybe, but I would like to see that. You know what I'm saying? But I guess you're right as a whole where it's like I don't have a lot of games that I want to get PS5 updated. I think there's some of the games that we, we already went over, like um, Uncharted, Horizon, Death Stranding, etc. Like there are some of those. But I think overall, we we got the heavy hitters, I think, for the most part. You know what I'm saying? So at least at least that's a good sign. But it is what it is. It is what it is. But uh, I think if you're good, I, I think I think we've covered all the bases here, honestly, on this uh, episode 17. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of a shorter episode than what we usually have, but I thought it was a good one. You know? Yeah, no. I th thought we, uh, you know, got some, we uh, we uh, got some laps in there. You know what I'm saying? All that great stuff. Uh, coming up here, going into the season of E3, maybe we'll do some E3 speculation. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we'll take a look at all the studios and see like what they could possibly be working on. Maybe some state of play rumors and all that good stuff. But uh, until then, Iraq Knight, where can the people find you? I am on the PlayStation Source Discord under the same name of the Iraq Knight. I am on Twitter at M Without Fear. If you're interested in photo mode shots every once in a while, comic book stuff, hot video game takes, all that good stuff. Yes, sir. Also, if you like Ubisoft, just just maybe just don't even talk to him. You know. Maybe, maybe, maybe just don't mention to a right night that you are partial to Ubisoft games, because you know, heaven forbid. Heaven hey, forbid. man, if if you're talking about Siege or the Division, we, like we can chill. Okay, okay. Like you know, I love the Division. Definitely. Yeah, but if you're gonna if you're gonna talk to me about Assassin's Creed, choo choose your battles, gamer. Because the only, I, I've debated with a few people in the Discord in, like, the last three days. You, dude, you've been deep in the trenches on Discord, bro. You've been out here just telling these kids what's up. I've been swinging. Sometimes, sometimes literal kids in the Discord. I threatened a child. <laughs> <laughs> that are see, literally children. <laughs> did you see the night that Mass Effect, like, got pushed on Steam? Yeah. Uh, like, Freezy? <laughs> Shout out to Freezy, but he's literally in, like, middle school. No, he's an elementary school gamer. No, he's not. You saw no, the not. picture. He's really in... No, but ele, I thought it was middle school. Elementary? That was element... We have a child in the Discord. Wow. And I, th wow. I threatened him. <laughs> Big yikes. Big yikes. Well, Maybe uh, next time you encounter it, write that, you know, maybe the actually the only Ubisoft title that I will allow you to talk shit about is probably Far Cry, to be completely honest with you. Far I'm, Cry is I, like I'm going to 
I'm gonna say Watch Dogs too. I'm gonna I'm gonna add Watch Dogs on my list. Uh, Watch Dogs hurts because Watch Dogs Two is really good, but Watch Dogs One I can never stand the slander. And Legion um, was awful. Legion, I saw that it's getting a 60 frames patch, and I'm a little bit more inclined to check that out at a reasonable price. You know, I, so I, I'm gonna wait till. Was that? Go ahead. Watch a few videos on Legion. Okay. Legion looks I'm gonna wait awful. for. I'm a I'm gonna wait for a sale, and then I'll 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 look into it, you know, and 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 uh see what's up, you know. But yeah, I'm scared to play that to be honest with you. But I do want to at least check it out for sure. But this has been Save Slot Episode 17, the weekly news show about any and all things PS5, PlayStation games, and PlayStation itself. Catch the show here on YouTube.com as PlayStation Source, as well as podcast services like Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, etc. via our anchor link in the description. Like the video and or rate the podcast to help us get seen by more viewers so we can grow the PSS family. Down below, you can also let us know what you like or dislike about the show and connect with us further on Twitter and Discord in the description as well. If you're feeling generous, feel free to hit that join button down below in the, uh, you know, section for YouTube, whatever, to become a member of the channel with the $1 Prince tier, like to be with Musa and Gameplay Sir, and our $5 King tier members, just like Caleb Kaiser, Arachnite, SideQuest Sean, City of Ed Gaming, and the homie Owen. And uh, while there was no Sheem series this week, uh, this upcoming week, I might, I'm, I mean, I, I, I bought Village here on the show, so we're likely going to stream that for sure uh, this week, and um, yeah. That's uh that that that's about it guys. Thank you all for watching. And as always, greatness, greatness awaits. awaits.